I think this would kill me. Yo, what's going on, T Gang? It's the Phantom welcoming you back to another episode of Pokemon Scarlet. And this today's we're gonna be finding the poison type person. Yes, we're gonna be over here. Also, update on our team. We have a Raichu, we have Hammerhead is now up to a Garchomp, which is awesome. Also, almost everybody is up to level 50, which is huge. Get away from me, you Spide Ops and Venonat. We have business to take care of. We're gonna fly over here. Ah! Oh gosh, wait, is one of them shiny? I have no idea. If it was shiny, please let me know. Uh, so that I can forever feel like a failure with that Pokemon specifically. But here we are. We are fighting the poison type person. Have no idea what they have, but we're just going to get right into it. Navi. Sheesh, what is this? Is this Avatar? By the time this episode comes out, the new Avatar movie will have been out for, I don't know, two months maybe. And that's freaking a good movie, guys. You should definitely go watch it. They're not a sponsor in any way, not affiliated with the channel in any way, but it's a great movie. Great, great movie. You should definitely go watch it. But three, two, one, let's go. We're going to be fighting these mucks. Okay, get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. We've got the three behemoths, actual behemoth, and then we have Hammerhead, and we have Skeledurge, Chompy Boy. Boom, boom, boom. Look at all these people that are just watching their Pokemon just get wasted. Finish him off. That kid's pretty good. Yeah, he's getting straight and pretty good. Today, I mean business. We are going to be doing absolutely as freaking much in this episode as we possibly can. So, if you don't like that, then you might as well leave, but if you're ready for that, put on your seatbelts. We're in for a wild ride. I'm thinking we're going to defeat these guys, probably the last Titan. Today's going to be the do good, do lots day. Personal life while I'm just destroying these fools. Uh, the next semester of college started up, so I've been working on that. I'm trying to get into the media arts program, which is just like the behind the scenes stuff with movies and editing and everything. And I felt like it worked really well with the YouTube channel. So I'm like, yeah, let's study that. Love it so far. Super awesome. But I'm not a huge fan of school. I kind of wish that I could just work most of the time, you know. Because I don't like having to do all the homework. I like just being able to go to, like, go to work. If you're done, you come home. You get to do whatever you want. And then with school, you like you go to school whenever the classes happen, you know, like you can't even get classes really when you want to. So that's why I try to do online stuff because I can basically do it whenever I want. But yeah, so I'm not a huge fan of school, but it's important to get a degree, everybody. You gotta get one. Uh, even if it doesn't necessarily help you with your career, you know, it's still always good just to gain an education, you know, like I 100%. Ooh, Atticus. I 100% would encourage everybody to go get a degree and just learn as much as they possibly can in whatever thing you want to learn about you know and I've just decided to do media arts my brother wants to be a dentist you know totally different but you know we're both just becoming more well-rounded people I guess because college kind of makes you take classes that sometimes you want to take other times you don't really want to take but it's just good to have that knowledge up there you know just so you can feel like you're educated but here we are, we're facing Atticus. I'm ready, I don't have my Abacus, because Atticus has taken it, and that's why we're gonna destroy him. Ninja Fool is what I'm calling him now. Ninja Fool sent out Skunk Tank. Okay, yeah, we got Hammerhead. I'm pretty sure Hammerhead has Earthquake, or at least some ground type moves, so I don't know how long this battle's gonna take. We're just gonna bolt, uh, bulldoze, that's okay. Gives me the Sucker Punch, that doesn't do too much, that's okay. Wow, Atticus, you literally spoke two seconds ago and now you're gonna be filling my brain with your useless words again awesome super effective one hit KO let's go hammerhead just eating him up like the shark that he is boom 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 forever room we're gonna keep current Pokemon I might terrestrialize but I don't think that would necessarily help too much you know cuz we're Terra Dragon so I mean if anything I don't think it will have like a fairy type but it could just boost some stats, but I don't know. Might save that just in case, but we'll hit it with another Bulldoze. You know, if we had Terra Ground type, that'd be different. And see, like, we don't even need the Terra type, so... <laughs> Take that, Ninja Boy Atticus Stealer. Or Abacus, your name is Atticus. We're gonna keep current Pokemon, and since we have Bulldoze, we don't even have to sweat it. Easy. Come on. M they made Muck in this game literally look just like this pile of goop. Which I think is honestly super awesome. I'm a, like you guys know, I'm a fan of the 2D pixel sprites. That's like where my heart is, you know, with Pokemon. I love the sprites. But I have to say, I do think the, like, 3D models in here are pretty good. 
I like him better than Sword and Shield for sure, so... Yeah. I think they're improving on them. Have they won my heart with them yet? No. Will they? They're gonna have to look pretty freaking incredible for them to win my heart over the Pixels. Because Pixels are just perfect, man. Pixel perfect. But Reverum is gonna get faster. We did pretty decent damage with Bulldoze. And we still outspeed because we're a fast shark. Even though we're not really a shark, we're a shark. If anybody tells you otherwise, they're wrong. But they keep doing uh, Toxic Debris, which is actually a pretty interesting ability. Goes for Flame Charge again, which will not be very effective. Hammerhead is just destroying this Navi Star Mobile. Um, let's just use Crunch. Just change it up a little bit. Boom. Done. Out of here. It's level 32. Sheesh. No wonder I was kicking butt. Yep. We destroyed their car. Now they can't drive anywhere. Give me back my Abacus. Yeah, okay. I don't think he's ever going to give me back my Abacus. But that's okay. I'll just get a new one. You know, I haven't even given you a voice, so I don't think I'm going to. <laughs> Take that, Atticus. And now we get more backstory about Team... Oh, that's Atticus? Why does Atticus decide to be a ninja? Wow. Wait, Atticus made all the costumes? Okay, that's kind of cool. Like, mad respect for Atticus now. That's awesome. The way of the ninja is rough and fraught with thorns. Yes. Atticus has fighting words. You know what? I don't know how I feel about this anymore. Like, Team Star is cool, but like, if the whole point is just to get him to go back to school, like, give me an evil team, man. Give me someone that's doing something dastardly. That's kind of cool, though. Ninja stuff. Bowing. Respect. That's kind of cool. Gunk Shop. That's pretty sick, actually. Totally like that. Phantom is thy name, is it not? Yes. Yes, it is. What? My compadre? Oh, friend. I thought he meant dad. I was like, it's your father? Oh, my goodness. Oh, that's kind of fun. Has one of his friends helping him out. That's cool. The big boss. I wonder who the big boss is. Is it Penny? I wonder if the big boss is Penny, and they just have no idea that it's her. Because I'm like, Cassiopeia, I'm like, how does Penny always know where to go? I mean, she does work with Cassiopeia, but if they're the same person, that would make sense. That's just my game theory. Yeah, there's Clive. All right, Clive. I like your hair, but that's about all I like about you. Awesome. We got out of here. On to the next Titan Pokemon. Oh. Here she is, lead boss herself. Just kidding, I don't actually know, but it's always important to include Penny. Well, I wasn't talking to you. I know that's not your voice, but I do like the two-toned hair. I mean, it's kind of cool. Reminds me of Todoroki, if you've ever seen My Hero Academia. Um, Todoroki's freaking insane. And Penny's cool, too, I guess. I mean, she's only showed up, like, four times. So I don't really have any attachment to her, but... Whoa. Why are we just talking to Penny about everything down? You'll lose your treasure? What do you mean, Penny? What do you mean? Oh, cool. Pokemon materials. I mean, that's nice, but I really want to know what your treasure is. I'm going to turn to a treasure hunter. Pirate. Don't lose to those guys. Okay, I won't, but it seems like you have some vendetta against them, which is why I think this person might, in fact, be team leader. But now we're headed to the next Titan Pokemon. I don't think I've ever been on a bridge like this in my entire life, like Pokemon or otherwise. I think this would kill me. Hey there, Phantom. So rumor has it the false dragon titan lurks somewhere in this lake. Yeah, but not a single person's ever caught a glimpse of it. it. Must be some kind of truly terrifying beast. But how are we supposed to search for a thing we don't even know what it looks like? Should it be any of your random crank? I'm the Titan or something, if only right. <sighs> Talk to you. Wow. Nothing up here, really. <gasps> the flamingos. The flamingos are watching us. We have to be on our best behavior. That was not best behavior. We can do better. <gasps> Give me coin. Give me coin, more like. Okay, who else is on this island? Ooh, Staraptor? Yeah, I'll catch you. You'll be the one Pokemon that I catch during this episode. Ooh, you gotta hurt yourself, though. Ooh, sweet Moses. 
Pokeball because we're the G's. Never mind, we're gonna use a different one because we're the G's. Rupee Ball, Luxury Ball. Do you want a Luxury Ball? Is that what you want? You want a life of luxury after trying so hard to avoid me? No? Absolutely not? Let's just run. I don't care about you anymore, Staraptor. Here we go again. Here we go again. Please end better than the last time we flew. We need to think about giving you a nickname whenever they let us do that. Feet? No. Only feet? Yeah, no, can't do that. Whoa. This is a big one. Holy cow. Oh, no. It's like the Zoras or the Zoroas from The Legend of Zelda. And the confusion? Are you kidding me? We don't have time for this, Don Dozo. You pale in comparison to Hammerhead. See, you didn't even do that. Oh, but you get the... What does this guy have? Serene Grace? Good grief. Oh, gosh. Just sink into the unknown. We need Elsa over here telling us we're going into the unknown. I can't ride Karite on here. I literally am, game. There it is. Asking you shall receive. If you eat me, I will destroy you. Oh, I guess I'm gonna have to look at your under chin. Or is that a different Don Dozo? Wow, we can stand here? Oh, gosh. Okay, that almost literally killed me. Did you find the Titan? Yes, I did. I found it technically twice. It's a fish. I think it's a fish. That's why it says false dragon. Pretending not to notice. Ooh, Raichu, I'll put you in timeout. I learned this recently. It's Dox Bun. Because the dog is like a dachshund or dachshund or something. But it's dox. So that's a dox bun. I've been saying dash bun this whole time. And yes, half the reason I'm saying it so much is so I can remember that it's dox bun. Chanting makes it important. We did it, Phantom. And the most important part, how's Arvin's Pokemon going to be doing? We have to fight Tatsugiri now? So is Tatsugiri the false dragon? Dox bun will be good. No need to worry about Raichu. You don't need to faint two times. Wow, and we miss? Okay, is this actually going to be hard now? Oh no! My Pokemon have no revives. You don't even need the crit? Oh, never mind. I think we did need the crit. The last Herba Mystica. Spicy Herba Mystica. How do you guys like spicy food? To be honest, I'm not a huge fan of spicy food. Like, I understand that spicy food is good, and some people love it more than absolutely anything. But I'm not super good at handling spice. Like, I don't hate, like, medium salsa, but I'm like, if I have hot salsa and it makes me like, <gasps> then I'm like, nah, it's not that enjoyable. But, if it's like medium and it just has slight, slightly, like, a kick in the teeth, you know, then that's, that's good. I like it. But, not too spicy, but what do you guys like? Let me know down in the comments below. What's your favorite spicy food, if you do like spicy food? Come on. Everybody get your eggy ass ready. Because we're giving this sandwich to Karate and he's going to level up. Oh, Angia? Wow, wasn't even a yell. Normally it's a yell. Gans. Honestly, do you even think that sandwich fills Karate on? <laughs> Climb up vertical surfaces now. That's huge, actually. All the travel we can do now that's way faster. Oh, yeah, we're going to be flying through this game, you guys. It's going to be so nice. Come on, Mabastiff. This needs to perk you up more than anything. Because there was one sandwich that didn't do anything. Harvin, why don't you give him the whole thing? I guess maybe it's still too weak to eat. Yes, we did our best to get it for you. <gasps> oh, now is when we get to the sad part. We're going to play with your favorite ball as much as you want, you know? Just like we used to. Just like we used to. Please, get better. Come on, Mabasif, you can do it. I better be hearing you guys out there saying that he can do it. This is like Dora. Come on. We can do it. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. I mean, why did they go black screen? It's got to be important, right? Right? Has to be important. Well, I guess we'll find out. Come on. That was a, oh, it's a cutscene. Yes. You did your best, bud. Oh, no. He's lost faith. Oh, man. Oh, 
on the music too? <gasps> he roughed. I'm getting chills, you guys. Rough. Woof. <gasps> He's walking. He's walking, everyone. <gasps> Look at him, the tail wag. Bud. Bud. Wow. Ruff. Ruff? <gasps> I know, bud. Me too. Oh, man. Yeah, Karadon's my buddy. We're just witnessing this wonderful moment. Yes! If the game ended there, it'd be so worth it. We helped Arvin. We helped Mavistiff. And they are okay. They are okay. Arvin is best boy. Actually, Mavisif is best boy. Arvin is second best boy. But let's save, because only you can prevent lost save data, and even though it auto-saves, it's always good to save. Now, we will go to a gym. Okay, I know this isn't the gym battle, but, like, this is the city? It's literally just the gym? And then you guys can watch Karide on walk on the wall, too. Boom, look at that. Literally just the city and the Pokemon Center. Like, there's nothing else here. Okay, so, in typical Nimona fashion, we have to fight her first. But, it's gonna be easy, like, we're just gonna destroy her. I'm 12 levels higher than you. This should be easy. Stop lowering my accuracy. You never know what's gonna happen next. You're right, Nimona. Well, I know what's gonna happen next. You're losing. She's losing. But we're not gonna miss again, right? Wrong. We still reign supreme, everyone. Awesome. We did the gym trial. Super easy. Super, super easy. And now we're fading Grusha. Burr, I'm freezing. You're freezing, Grusha. You have a freaking jacket on. I'm in a t-shirt and shorts. Dweeb. That's gonna be easy. <laughs> Basically, this gym's gonna be a pushover. Honestly. We're just gonna torch song absolutely everyone. I don't even know what level they are. Wasn't even focused on that. Boom. One hit KO. I think that was actually exactly four moves. And we just destroyed this gym leader. What on earth are we doing? That's animated me, not me. We did it. We did Team Star, and we did a Titan, and we did a Gym Leader all in one episode. Hopefully you guys enjoy. That's about it for this episode. Have yourselves a fantastic day, you guys. Remember, keep smiling.